no technology has been able to find Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 as it disappeared over the ocean nearly three years ago. Not this underwater unmanned device, nor this deep sonar vehicle. But in the future, that could change. If the transponder, the device on the aircraft that's broadcasting the information was active, yes, we would absolutely have seen it. Well, they just dominate because it looks like... Vincent Capazuto's team created the system that tracks airplanes at all times over every inch of the Earth. Currently, 70 percent of the Earth doesn't have radar coverage because of rough terrain or vast oceans. Nobody knows exactly where you are except for the pilot. You look at the back, the screen on the back of the seat and you see the map and you realize that you know where you are, but air traffic control knows roughly where you are. Arian's device is in this white payload the size of a microwave. The payloads ride Saturday on 10 Iridium satellites aboard the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The satellites will replace older ones in a monumental swap for 66 new and improved models. It's going to be one of the most complicated technical feats really in the aerospace industry. Matt Desch will oversee a team of engineers in mission control for the swap out. The satellites travel 270 times the speed of cars on an interstate highway. So imagine replacing the old ones while they are still moving. Once the satellites begin to populate, the airplane tracking can begin. The rule for all U.S. airplanes to have the correct equipment doesn't go into effect until 2020 two years after the satellites are in place. In a media conference call, VOA asked Federal Aviation Administrator Michael Huerta why the delay. Right now, the surveillance um, over the oceans, um, in terms of the benefit that we would get from uh, satellite technology, affects a relatively small number of flights, and we, other, we have all other alternatives for tracking, so it all comes down to a cost-benefit um, determination. Prior to Arian, Capazuto spent 18 years at the FAA. It's thousands, right? So, you know, just, just the Congo line from Honolulu to the, uh, to the West Coast is like a thousand flights. But Capazuto says he also recognizes budget restrictions of the government. New planes already have the technology, and so in 2018, the satellites will begin their tracking. Marco Caceres is a senior space analyst at the Teal Group. It may be that Iridium uh, may be able to be the, one of the early pioneers of this, but this is going to be the wave of the future for, for other, other satellite systems as well. Meaning no more mysteries about what happened to jumbo jets carrying hundreds of people. Everyone will know where they are every minute of the flight. In McLean, Virginia, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.